We are on track this weekend to see what's called an annular eclipse. So what is that? Well, let's take a look. An annular eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. But it happens when the moon is at its farthest point in its elliptical orbit around the Earth, so it appears smaller and isn't large enough to cover the entire disk of the sun. It gets to a, about 90%, give or take, if you're in the right spot on the planet. And so it creates this kind of ring of fire just outside of the actual edge of what the moon is covering. So you do have to be in the right spot to see that. The uh, ring or the path of the annular eclipse there is off to southwestern portions of the United States. And then the farther you are away from that, the less you're going to see. So it becomes a partial solar eclipse. And that's what we might be able to see this weekend if sky conditions improve dramatically. Right now it does look to be a pretty cloudy Saturday for us, so it's going to really spoil the fun. But if we can get a glimpse of it, we should see about 43% of the maximum eclipse just before the lunch hour at 11.56 a.m. If we do manage to get the clouds to clear up, you will need special glasses that are approved to be able to view this or to create a special solar eclipse viewer at home. You can find out information about that at the website right there, exploratorium.edu slash eclipse has some great ideas. And then of course, as the moon continues to pass through, we get back to a full sun disk in the sky. Again, it will be a, very fingers crossed situation as our forecast right now for the weekend on October 14th does not have great viewing conditions.